And welcome back, gamers. This is SKS for Let's Play Colonization. Why am I saying it like this? I'm not sure. But if colonization were an umbrella, I'd climb under it to keep from getting wet. Mm-hmm. I actually just survived a big scare. I went to save my last video, and I hit the wrong button, and it started saving over the previous video because I forgot to change the number. I guess my system is stupid and I shouldn't go with that, but I'm going to keep doing so. I saved both videos, so there will be extra gaming goodness for you. Mm -mm -mm. I just love to pile it on top. But last time I left off, we were moving this privateer and just kind of searching everything. Let me move that mouse so it's actually out of the way and you can enjoy the view. As I go up here into the land of the Dutch, the home of the orange crayon, and land of the I don't know I really don't know what's in the Netherlands um uh wooden shoes home of the orange crayon and land of the wooden shoes I guess that works we'll go with that yes before I sound even more stupid I'll just stop there alright so Anything we could pick up here? No, sir. We will head south to Fort Boob. Because it's gangsta. And gangsta colonies are always bigger. Alright. We have brought spam some much needed wood. Actually, they don't need that much wood. Can they even take it all? Uh, unloaded anyway, we should use it this next turn. I mean, I don't know why you all are whining so much. So, let's take this and that fortress. I'll probably have to pay for that soon. But we'll do the best we can until then. So, the game's actually starting to shape up pretty good. I'm still nervous about the military force that the king could have. And I know that on one of these, I believe it's Continental Congress, I can actually look at that, yes. Wowzers! Holy shit! 29 foot soldiers, 10 dragoons, 8 cannons, and 5 man of wars Wow. I've got to add more cannons to my cities. That's that's just the bottom line. And here's the room and evidently these guys just look, he look at that look. Look at that. I wish I'm going to zoom into that. Just that face. You could tell he's looking at them going, "Hmm." Or he's checking out his hiney. Maybe he likes TJ's hiney. I don't know. But everybody else is kind of looking at the camera. Except George, who's staring off in the space. He's probably wondering why Thomas Jefferson has orange hair. But, and this guy's got his anal beads. But, I mean, aw, Ben Franklin brought his kite. That's nice. How nice. But this, look at that. He just does not belong. He's staring so intently. I don't know. But I know if Benjamin Franklin's that fat, his legs should be thicker at the bottom. He should have cankles. I... I don't know. I don't know, gamers. I've, I've quit trying to figure things out anymore. So, let's move our privateer back up here to New Holland. And we will see what we have going on up here. As I totally had a deja vu moment where I thought that I'd already moved that privateer as it was moving, and I guess I had already moved it, and that's why it was auto-moving. I have issues. You all have to just look past me. I hope you love me for it anyway. So as the turn rolls, I'm really hoping something exciting happens this turn so we could take it on like a nuclear attack. 25 kill streak, something like that. I don't guess they had those back then. Alright, we're back to all free colonists. Yay. Whoop whoop. All right, a new call. Oh man, I wish I should have sent that with the frigate. Next time, next time. 
the iron t let's see how much the iron works needs 168 let's go ahead and complete that um, just because I'm getting antsy I don't know why I didn't move those guys over but they'll be working on the next time or on the next thing that we're gonna build 172 tools uh, I know that they're working on tools there so we don't need to help new porn needs to really hurry up and get their heads out of their asses and realize that independence is great oh, new porn has a little bit of everything going coats furs or wood the fur factory it's such a great name I've got to make my background the fur factory if anybody can draw out there draw me a picture of the fur factory for my let's play screen that would be awesome Right, let's head north. These soldiers, it seems like it takes forever for these ships to get anywhere. I feel terrible. Let's go, uh, let's go make, let's make landfall and go say hi to the Dutch again. Just so I can piss them off. Let's try to uncover more of the map. Let's leave you right here. Where do we want to put this fisherman at? strategically I could put him here and actually start producing other things I think I might do that I don't know though let's see is new porn they could actually use the fishermen there because they're they need food so yeah we'll take him to new porn everybody's going to new porn I guess that's a cool place to go let's unload this junk and go get more junk wish you could command your units from that screen I guess the Indians have kind of, they're a little upset at me, but I guess they're kind of settled into where they're not going anywhere. I might as well get used to it. In hindsight, I should have stopped that for gate and sent it back, but, eh, who cares? This galleon, we all know exactly where he's going to go. He has a very long trip. Okay, it's right there. I got nervous. I was like, oh god, somebody got it. I really started stressing out. And I do feel stupid for not purchasing a galleon earlier on. But, I was hooked on privateering. It's a pirate's life for me. Yo-ho, yo-ho. Now, I should have been able to attack him. And I know he doesn't have cargo, but I still want to try to sink it anyway. Just, just to piss him off. I know money's rare in this game. I did forget where uh, I have to take the treasure. I don't know if I take it back to England or if I just, you know, go with it to a city or something. But I'm pretty sure you just had to take it to a city before and uh, then they would come pick it up. Fort Red has run out of oil. Or <laughs> oil oil. Wow, I have issues. Ugh. They've run out of ore, but we finished this anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's produce... some more artillery and start distributing that around. You, I want you to produce... Let me click on you. I command thee to change to 11 tobacco. And I know that doesn't make sense right now, gamers, but I just want him to do something until he learns his skill. Honestly, I don't really need him to do that, do I? Well, that would be stupid. That would be stupid. There we go, fur trader's house. 
I really don't need another 10 food that can loosen him up. He can actually produce something we need. Like... Soldiers. For now. For now. For now, gamers. We'll change that once we uh, get on up a couple of turns. And we have a cathedral now, with nobody there preaching. So let's build... We need a docks here, so I think I'm bringing a fisherman in and we're not even going to be able to use it unless we build the docks. Boy, do I feel stupid. Um, we have 202 tools here. Let's actually put the gunsmith over here making guns like he's supposed to, and we'll fix that here when the expert fisherman comes to town. See, everything is working out the way it's supposed to, gamers. Ye of little faith. And we have a magazine here, so we'll produce lots of bang-bangs. We could actually make an arsenal. Hmm. An arsenal, you say? Hmm. I don't really need a dry dock. I think I'm going to go with an artillery here. Because I just, I want to have more artillery starting to back me up. That's sad. I had them making tools and I have a blacksmith right here. I do not know what's wrong with me, gamers. I really don't need him there producing that. So we'll have him work on tools. We need to start building up a surplus. Oh, he added regulars. God, he's getting pissed at me. I wish there was a way where you could buy your stuff from other countries who won't be there to attack you. What was I thinking? I don't know. It's all going to come back. It's all going to come back and haunt me. All these nightmares. Boom, boom. Do it. Oh, they broke the game. Crap! Do it, Rockefeller! Whoop! Whoop! Yeah, I'll stop that now. That was terrible. I should never, ever speak again. Alright, so let's get these coats. I don't really think I need them to sell anything. I do need to send the caravel to New Spam. New Spam. <laughs> Just to Spam. And pick up some stuff. Let's just go declare war of my frigate. Just be an ass. Alright. So here's what we're going to do the whole switcheroo here. Oh, it's not here that I can do that. I actually need to move them north, and you'll see my brilliant plan come to action. Indians are probably shitting a brick right now. So, we're going to move this guy here. And this guy here. Yes. And this guy... And that's the one we want. We want him here. And him here. <laughs> I have produced... A epic... Dragoon facility. Now you just replace all of your soldiers with those trained ones. Wash, rinse, and repeat. That guy here, we'll put him out here as a dragoon. And then you can come here and cut lumber. And that's how you do it, gamers. That is how you do it. And I actually think I can make him... Mm, He's producing seven food there on his own. What would this guy do? Oh, wow. Well, we'll have some growth there soon, hopefully. Things are looking really good there. Alright, so that worked out nicely. Uh, 
Um, I'll have to take some more ore to Fort Red here shortly. Oh, I see that. I wonder if that's a, that has to be a French privateer for it to come with that galleon. Hmm, that didn't look guilty at all. Conspicuous much? Hmm, yes. Ah, here comes my friend the Dutch. Let's see what they do. Watch me attack them and probably get killed. Oh, here comes another privateer. Yay. Life just gets better and better, gamers. The game's starting to really act crazy. Every time I do stuff, it just jumps. Yes, yes, the price of cloth. Oh, the king's really becoming an ass. Uh, the I Hate France Musket Party. Um, yeah. Uh, the bad problem about this is I'm not about to throw muskets in the water, so I'm going to kiss the pinky ring. And I know that's probably a bad decision, and you all are going to think that, but... All right, I hate spam... Or, I hate spam... Oh my god, I'm getting my colonies confused. Spam gains plus one. They're actually starting to get the picture. So that plus one will keep them above water. And I can start producing even more Liberty Bells and still have the food to feed them. So hopefully that will turn out good. Can we... We're nowhere close to that. What was I thinking? And we get John Paul Jones. Well, look at him. He even brought his little cannon. That's like something to shoot off at a football game. And with him, we get a frigate. Frigate! To our colonial navy without cost. Excellent. Oh, is there anybody here that we want? Jacob Fugger. Uh, boycotts in effect are forgiven without back taxes. Uh, that doesn't cure the tax rate. Francisco Coronado. All existing colonies in the area around them become visible on the map. That might have been good, but I think I've uncovered all the map. Hernan Cortez. Yeah, we don't need that at all. Uh, Pocahontas. I might jump on that one. <laughs> I'll jump on Pocahontas. Get some of that Indian booty. Um, blah, blah, blah. More Indians. We'll do Pocahontas, just to keep the Indians at bay. We're down to very little bits and pieces now, folks. So, yeah, we'll complete it for 72. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh, I can take this caravel. Actually, I can load it up there with a hundred ore and send it to Fort Red. Yay! Logistics. Logistics is my friend. Let's talk to the chief. Yes, yes. Nearby, they just do not want to give me money in this game. They are the tight, waddiest bunch of Afghan rebels ever. Did he say Afghan rebels? Well, yes, yes, he did. <laughs> All right, so let's just send this privateer back around to uncover more map. I feel like I should be using one of my other ships for that, which is probably what I should. I don't know. I'm I'm an idiot. Anything we can take down here and sell? Not really. So we'll go down to I hate France and see if they have anything to pick up. unload coats. Anything in Fort Boob we need to send other places? No. Everything is going well there. Send you up to New Porn just to hang out. And the frigate lands. Let's 
Come on, let's win one. You've been in the shipyard for four years. Yes! Thank you! All that new wood finally paid off. As my galleon goes slow as molasses, watch a privateer get a hold of it and sink it. I would cry. Let's see. What does New France have? Or I hate France. New I am totally confused now. I need sleep, gamers. They have a soldier. Um, they actually need to build a schoolhouse after they get that done, and I'll start doing the same thing there. What is Fort Boob? Uh, we'll send one there. And then we'll send one to New Porn. And then we should start mass producing artillery and be ready for the big march. Hopefully we can mass produce a few more as the awesome music starts playing. And we will keep you there. I mean, you could actually spend forever, but my goal is to try to declare independence before 1700 or right at 1700. That's just what I want to do. If you don't agree with that, let me know. If you agree with it, let me know. Will I listen to you either way? Probably not. But oh well. Oh, he's going to get the jump on me. Ah! It's okay, we sunk a ship. The Dutch got a little bit of revenge, but not enough to really brag about. Just imagine it with all four countries in here, gamers. It, it gets crazy. Alright, we have more people in I Hate France to mass produce shit we don't need. And we'll take another expert fisherman. Alright, I Hate France gets a sexy fortress. So things are moving up then. We could take this fisherman and put him there. And we will have them work on... I'm not sure. Probably an ironworks. Just to get that going. So... All you idiots need to move here. Hey, you gray shirt guys. Move. Oh, no, I know what I need to build here. Never mind. Change my mind. Schoolhouse, and then we'll build... We can actually train elder statesmen at the... Uh, the college, or the university, so I might think about that. But, we've ran out of time today, gamers, so hopefully you enjoy, enjoyed this installment of Let's Play Colonization. Maybe next time I will teach you something wonderful and marvelous that you could take with you. But, for now, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to watch basketball, and I'm going to relax. So, you all have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you later. This is SKS, signing off. Good night, gamers. He just does not belong. He's staring so intently.